the Undertaker, the Phenom, the Dead Man. Um, he is a guy, he's my favorite wrestler of all time. He's one of the biggest reasons why I got into wrestling in the first place. So me to see his Hall of Fame speech was incredible. And the fact that Vince McMahon inducted him was, was you know, great. But uh, what's your takeaway from the speech? Yeah, I think the fact that Vince was the one who inducted Taker into the Hall of Fame speaks volumes on to how important Undertaker was. This man wrestled for 30 years at the peak of the industry. When you talk about the WrestleMania streak, I mean, that is synonymous with professional wrestling. When you think about the biggest names in the game, yeah, you have Stone Cold, you have Hulk Hogan, you have Undertaker, but for Stone Cold, you know, Hulk Hogan, um, the rock, all those, you know, top, top, top of the line names, they're synonymous with just being professional wrestlers. Undertaker, automatically you think of the WrestleMania streak. And the fact that he got a standing ovation just about everywhere he went this weekend, um, it's, it, it really does speak volumes to just how transcendent of a figure he is and how respected he is be among fellow wrestlers among the WWE universe. And just to see him finally get that recognition of, hey, you know, we've been cheering for you. We've been watching you. We've been rooting for you. And now it's our turn to say thank you um, was really an, an, a fitting and amazing tribute to the dead man. It was a great speech overall. I like the fact that you know, he mentioned BS, BSK, which mm -hmm. if, if you don't know what BSK is, you know, do your research because I was so happy that he mentioned those guys, that group. Um, Paul Bear, rest in peace. Yep. Um, Yokozuna, rest in peace. I'm glad that he mentioned all those wrestlers that he had a bond with um, by showing him on, on the screen. And um, his parents... Um, him talking about his parents, his decision making, because for those of you who don't know, Undertaker used to play basketball and he was on the verge of going overseas to play basketball. So the fact that he shared the story of, of how he's going to break it down to his parents, that he doesn't want to do basketball, he's going to go into wrestling. That was something that was very profound. I never knew the full story until he finally shared it on his speech. Baker, just stay retired. Like, I love you, but stay retired. Like, it, it kills me. I, like, I understand that almost every single retired wrestler comes back out of retirement for one more match or for whatever reason. But in Undertaker's case, is like 30 years, you've done enough. Um, I feel like this is it, like this is enough. Like you don't have to prove anymore. So when he said that at the end of the speech, yes, the crowd went crazy, but me watching this is like, oh my God, what are you, no, what are you doing to me? Like, I love you, take a ball, why are you doing this to me? But overall, great speech, very emotional. I even almost choked up watching it because again, he's a guy that I've seen for, so many years and was the reason why I got into wrestling. Um, the, um, Vince almost was um, got emotional as well, but it's just the level of respect. He's probably the most revered superstar that has ever um, graced the ring. Um, he was a backstage leader. And, you know, I'm just very happy that um, we get that he had this because when he retired it was during, you know, this COVID era. So I'm very happy for Taker to make the Hall of Fame. And what else can I say? I mean, do you have any final thoughts on about that? No, oh, you're absolutely right that this needs to be the final send off for Undertaker. We've seen him come back a couple of times uh, the last few matches of his career where we're a little shaky out there and you don't want to have that type of memory of the last time you see him wrestle. You, you want it to be where 
he has that epic cinematic match against AJ Styles uh, at WrestleMania two years ago. Um, that is the way that you want to see Taker ride off. And he rode off on the motorcycle, paying homage to the American badass, one of his many personalities. Uh, the, the Last Ride documentary did such a good job of showing the arc of Undertaker throughout his career. And, you know, you think of just the, this one character that always dresses up in black and comes out to the ring and is so uh, with, with a mystique about him. But the way that he was able to shift that character oh, oh so slightly while still paying homage to what got him to the dance was really incredible for his career. And, it, you know, you just hope that he takes it, takes all the adulation, takes all the praise and it j just knows that he had the probably arguably the best career in WWE history.